In this video, we'll learn how to roast chestnuts in an oven at home. In addition to learning how to cook chestnuts at home, you'll learn how to select chestnuts, how to score chestnuts safely, how to prepare them for roasting, and of course, finally, how to roast chestnuts to perfection. Let's get started. Maron chestnuts are popular in Italy and typically used for roasting. They are a sweet variety of chestnuts that tend to yield a larger, higher quality fruit that can be easily peeled when prepared correctly. Choose chestnuts that have a little bit of a shine and that are firm to the touch. When pressed, the skin of the chestnut should not crack or bend. Avoid chestnuts with any visible holes as this can be a sign of worms or insects. These three chestnuts are in excellent shape. While these chestnuts are not so good and we would not want to use them for roasting, these chestnuts are soft and when pressed, the skin of the chestnut wrinkles or cracks. Now that we've selected only the best healthy chestnuts, it's time to score them down the middle. Since chestnut meat expands while roasting, we score the chestnuts to prevent them from exploding in the oven. Many people use a paring knife for this job or a special chestnut cutting knife or tool. However, we find the knife technique to be a bit dangerous and cumbersome. Instead, we recommend that you use simple, sturdy kitchen scissors like these. To score a chestnut, place it flat side down on the work surface. Make a shallow cut lengthwise from one end of the chestnut to the other. Cut just the chestnut skin and not the chestnut itself. If you are using scissors for this job, place the tip of one of the scissor blades directly onto the work surface near the bottom of the chestnut. Open the second blade until it arrives to the center of the chestnut. Pierce the chestnut skin in the middle and close the scissors gently to slice through the chestnut skin. Repeat on the other side. Give the chestnut a gentle squeeze to make sure you've cut all the way through. Let's see it one more time. This is shown in real time so you can see how easy and effortless it really is. Now our chestnuts are scored and ready for the next step. Step two, soak the chestnuts. Soak the scored chestnuts in water or wine for at least two hours. Soaking the chestnuts will provide them with some humidity and make the skins easier to peel when the roasting is finished. Here we are using filtered water, but if using wine, be sure to use a drinkable wine. After the two hour soak, drain the chestnuts and pat them dry with a towel. After preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, arrange the chestnuts score side up on a cookie sheet. Arrange the chestnuts so none are sitting on top of each other. Place the cookie sheet in the bottom third of the oven and roast the chestnuts for 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. At this time, you can also add a couple of ice cubes to the bottom of the oven to give the chestnuts a bit more humidity while roasting. This will help to ensure that the chestnuts remain tender and don't dry out too much during the roast. After the 20 minutes, increase the oven temperature to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and roast for an additional 10 to 15 minutes or until the chestnuts are golden brown and the meat of the chestnuts are tender like this. Give a quick taste to be sure that the nuts are cooked through. But be careful when peeling because the nuts will be very, very hot. Once you're confident that the chestnuts are roasted, transfer the chestnuts to a bowl lined with a damp towel. 
cover with a damp towel and press the nuts gently with your palm to loosen up the skins. Let the chestnuts rest like this for 10 to 15 minutes. If you've done things correctly, the chestnut skins should easily come off. Be sure to remove all the skins from the chestnuts now because it's easier to remove chestnut skins when the nuts are warm. And of course now is also the optimal time to enjoy them because the chestnut meats will be warm and tender. We hope you've enjoyed this video on how to roast chestnuts in an oven at home. If you've learned something new, give us a like and subscribe. E buon appetito! Subscribe below for more recipes like this from Italy and beyond.